Hello folks, Dark Hair here, this time around bringing you a tutorial video review on how to assign your media controller controls with Logic Pro. Going straight into it, I've got Logic Pro open up. What you need to do is start a new project. You'll be faced with this um, interface um, option here, empty project and so forth under the composure. So it's pretty much up to you. Do an empty project. Logic will present you with the arrangement here. So if you say you want to arrange, um, you've got six favors and you've got six knobs. So far we're looking at 20, 64 banks. So we, we won't do put 64, we'll just put 12, so two times six. Leave it on your software instrument option type. It's up to you if you have other types, you could do the same there. Select your outputs one and two. Create the six track. Let me just make this into the full screen mode. So here you've got your 12 tracks there. And at the current moment, stop, play button, left and right, and record don't work on my MPD. So what you need to do is bring out the menu here, click on preference, go to the MIDI option, go to your sync, right here underneath, you've got MIDI sync project settings, click into that. Now here, highlighted options here, is what will mainly send a signal back and forward to your MIDI controller, between your MIDI controller and your DAW software. So what you wanna do is highlight the transmit MTC, You've got various options here, depending on which one you want to send the signal out to. So normally I have that all because I've got quite a few MIDI controller connected, so set to all. Now you've got the MMC control. You want to transmit that and you want it to listen to it as well. So these three are vital here for your transport control on your controller to function with your DAW. You could do the MIDI clock as well, destination, set to all. So as long as you have something like this all highlighted on, it will definitely, s the signals between your MIDI controller and your DAW software logic, mainly in this case, will um, be active and live. So once you've done that there, you could really just exit that Go back to your main screen here. All you need to do is press play on your MIDI controller. That's play there working, press stop. Stop button working, left and right. Direction, both working perfect. Record button, that works. And stop. <clears throat> so there you go, at the is how you would configure basic controls, transport controls on your um, MIDI controllers. Now, just say for example, with those 12 channels, you wanted to control the volumes and the pans. I'm just gonna give you, I'm just gonna focus on those and later on I'll go into more depth of how you do, you can control everything else. But um, what you need to do, is go to the Logic Pro um, main uh, option. Then going all the way down here, you have something that's called a control services. Control services option, you would go to control assignment. This is where you could assign certain features on cer certain functions on your controller, hardware controller, Per say MP, MPV26 to function with your software. So you go into that and you'll be presenting with this screen here. Now, as you can see already, I've got control services for an oxygen there. 
channels and transport these are basic at the moment cycle mode rewind forward stop those have already been assigned and we've got a no zone area so in the no zone area each zones we have an indication where you could add more um, more options so getting on with it you just press add we've got a zone here let's just do um, MPD 26 press enter and then once you've done you created a zone here for the MPD you basically you make your 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 in that zone you what you're doing is you're putting the controller that you want to control so you've got various controllers in there you're indicating in that zone this this zone is going to be an, an, an MPD 26 zone and in the mode, there's various modes of your MPD-26. There will be a mode where you'll be controlling the effects, a mode where you'll be controlling one channel with the favors, and then another mode, second mode, you could create where you'll be controlling the remaining six functions of those favors. So on the mode, you've got no mode at the moment, and then next section, you've got your control and parameter controls. The parameter controls is what you want to control software wise back and forth with the hardware and then right here you've got a learn key and what i'm going to do is bring out a mixer a mixer has all my channels there laid out you've got your volume controls and you've got your pan controls up here left and right so what we're going to do is click learn mode as soon as you click learn mode as you can see here it's gone gray so it's no more white anymore and what it's doing in this mode right now is waiting for you to is waiting to receive a message from your midi controller on what to control at the moment you see you see no message received yet highlighted volume i'm going to highlight the volume here so i've highlighted just this one on its own now all you need to do, once that's highlighted, you click on it, is move a fader on your controller. You see right there at the moment, I'm controlling that from my MPD26. The first fader at the moment is moving up and down. And if you go back up here, you've seen it's learned a parameter control volume. So that's done there. And if I was to select the second fader, it brings out a second fader message where it hasn't learned anything yet. So all you need to do now is move the second fader on your MPD and so forth and so on. I'll just go through those, number three, four, we've got five, and lastly, number six so those are six functions being learned and it's still on learning mode so what you could do from there you could press it again to get out of learning mode or you could continue so I'm gonna click on the pens and if you look back here you've got a parameter pen selected no message received yet so I'm gonna do on my MPD I'm gonna move the first k1 knob left and right and then you could see there it's learning to control the pan there and same as before second one so move your second knob you've got your third one fourth and so on so you cycle through all of those left and right all six there and that's that and then once that's done you just click back on learn and that will be it so now you could test itself you're moving fader one on your mpd fader two three four five six and so on and the same goes with your pans left and right you could see those working there 
perfectly. So this is where you would make advance assignments between your MIDI controller and the and your DAW software. So that's just a, a rough example, ba the basics of assign making assignments between your MIDI controllers and Logic. Hope you enjoy, subscribe, rate. If you want me to go into more further details, um, you know, just make a comment and uh, I'll read a comment and I'll go more into details on how to configure the various form of Logic. Cheers.